Welcome back to the channel everyone. Thanks for tuning in today. So I want to start this video with a little story for you about one of the first times I ever kayak fished the Texas Bay down here in South Texas. At the time I was going to Texas A&M and College Station and, and me and a couple of my college buddies decided to load up one Friday evening and head down for Port Aransas in order to do a little kayak fishing the next day. So we get down here to Port Aransas and and we have a great time and we get up Saturday morning and get our kayaks in the water and we fish all day long. I believe we took them to Wilson's Cut. So we fished the Wilson's Cut Shamrock Cove area all day long and had nothing to show for it. We didn't catch a single fish. And now, several years later, I like to look back on that day and, and try to figure out what it was that led us to have such a bad day. Why is it that we didn't catch any fish in Wilson's Cut after fishing with live shrimp under a popping cork all day long. So when I look back on that day I remember it was a high pressure bluebird hot summer day. So that's strike number one right there. I remember it was a slack tide. There was zero water movement. So that's major strike number two. And thirdly there was no wind. So the water was just like glass. So that's strike number three. And then on top of that, while we were fishing a, a pretty good spot, the Wilson's Cut Shamrock Cove area, we didn't know to target things like grass or oyster reefs or, or structures or anything like that. We were kind of out there just blindly throwing our popping cork wherever it may land and popping it and hoping for the best. So that's the reason that I want to put these videos together is to give some of you guys that are just getting started down here uh, a fighting chance at catching something. You know, what I want to do is share some valuable spots and then maybe give a little bit of strategy as to how to fish those spots. If you haven't seen the video that I did on kayak fishing the Texas Bay, then feel free to click up there on the link above. So today I want to share three spots with you. They're all three great spots that I've fished in the past. Uh, all three of them are great for kayak fishing and a couple of them are going to be good for wade fishing. All right, y'all, the first spot that I want to show you is the Aransas Pass Aquatic Center. And I admittedly have only fished this spot once, but I got to tell you, it was so cool. I can't wait to go back and try it again. And one of the nicest things about this spot was the kayak launch itself. So you can come over here to the Aransas Pass Aquatic Center. And you can drive right up here to this little turnaround, and there's a kayak launch right here. There's even a sign right here that says kayak launch. So you can pull up, launch your kayak, and then you can come back over here and park your truck. Then you paddle down this little channel right here, and you'll see that you're in this whole back lake area. That I imagine on a really low tide, it seems like it could get pretty low, if not even drain out completely, but... I was there during a high tide and there was a lot of water back in here. All of this back area looked really good. But what I ended up doing was paddling out through this channel here and coming out and fishing this giant grass flat out here. You can see there's just a ton of grass. You've got all these little islands. Just all kinds of cool stuff to fish. And then on top of that, you've got this channel, this really deep channel just right here with these guts right here that spill into that deep channel. So lots of cool stuff to fish. Look, you've even got a pier right here that stretches all the way out to this channel. So you can come up here in your kayak and cast out, you know, a, a jig along these pilings and try to snag some sheep's head, things like that. You can come across this whole grass flat with your top water or your soft plastics and, and probably tear up the redfish and the trout on certain days. And if that's not working, you can come and fish this drop off right here and see if you've got any redfish hugging this shelf. So lots and lots to fish. If you didn't see the video of me fishing this, uh, you can click up above there. The video is called Fishing the Secret Garden, and I've kind of nicknamed this spot the, the Secret Garden because it's kind of secretive back here you've got one little launch right here through this tiny channel and then it just dumps you out into this giant grass flat with all kinds of potential in the video you'll see that i only caught one trout and i can't explain why it seemed like it was a decent day 
and I, I threw soft plastics, top waters, and I think even some kind of an artificial shrimp under a popping cork, if I remember right. And I caught one trout, but I'm not going to give up on it yet because it just looks too good to give up on. I'm thinking the heat of the summer, this is going to be a spot to check out again. Next spot I want to talk about is the Dimmit Fishing Pier. This is a, a publicly available pier that is not very popular in the area, and I'm not sure why. Um, it extends out here pretty far, and I imagine, I've never fished the pier itself, but I imagine you could come out here to the end, uh, especially at night with some, some cut bait or something like that, and just chunk it out here into what appears to be kind of a, maybe a hole right here. Um, and I don't know why you couldn't just tear up some redfish or black drum, things like that. So this would probably be a fun spot for the family. But what I did was I actually launched my kayak from this parking lot right here. And I paddled out this way to fish these channels in here. Me and Kelsey came out here. We were actually fishing a redfish tournament. And we came out and fished all of these channels. And we had... A heck of a good day. We caught a ton of big black drum, some really nice trout, and a couple sheep's head. We didn't catch a single redfish. <laughs> That's the way those tournaments go. But So we had a great day, no redfish, but come out here in your kayak and fish all of these channels. If you're just wanting to hook into some fish, come out here with some live shrimp under a popping cork and chunk them right on the edge of these channels or around these islands on a high tide and you're sure to get into something. But what I like to do is come out here with the soft plastics, uh, the top waters, the crankbaits, things like that, and see if I can't get them on, on something like that. But you've got all of these islands to work, and you've got all of this grass. You've got these deep channels. So again, you know, if you've got some tidal movement, go out there and find some pinch points between some of these islands where you've got a little bit of current and fish right there where those fish might be stacked up. Um, fish these channels if you've got some current moving through them, and you can always work the edges of these islands. Look for, for points like this. Look for cuts between islands like this, and just work all of this kind of stuff with your soft plastics. And if you've got the time and energy, you can always paddle out to Boat Hole right here. I personally have never paddled all the way over here. We ran out of time the, the last time I fished this area. But I've heard some excellent things about fishing Boat Hole in the summertime. So you could come out here with your kayak and post up along the edge right here. Fish this grass and this shelf right here where it drops off into the hole. And it just... It would have to be good. It just looks like there would be redfish hanging out right there. So give that a try for sure. As a whole, this Dimmit Fishing Pier, it's a really good spot. It's got all kinds of variety of things that you can fish, including a pier. If you just want to get out for a, a lazy evening fishing trip and walk out here to this pier, definitely go check that out. All right, and the last spot that I want to talk about is one that's pretty obvious. It's the JFK Causeway. Um, if you're local to the area, then you know when you cross this causeway right here and you pass the causeway and, and Red Dot Pier, you'll see guys lined up right down here fishing. They may be in kayaks, they may have their little sail lines out, or they may just be wade fishing, but there's always people fishing right here. And that's because it's a pretty good spot to go fishing. It's an easy spot to park your vehicle, and it doesn't take long until you get out to some of these canals, these channels that were cut. So you can park right here off the side of the highway. You just exit, you know, further up here by Red Dot Pier. Drive down the sand right here, park your vehicle, and either wade fish out here, or put your kayak in and come and fish the edges of all these channels, or the grass, or the islands. You're, you're probably starting to see that there's a little bit of a pattern developing here. This is an excellent spot in your kayak because look at all of these channels that have been cut through here. The few times that I've fished this spot, I've always done pretty well. I've caught some really nice redfish in these channels, some really nice black drum, and a couple of sheep's head. 
So it's definitely not a spot to overlook. It's one of those spots that you could get out there in your kayak and fish all day long and still not even put a dent in it. So definitely check this out. Come out here with, shoot, anything you want. You could come out here with live shrimp, cut and bait, hard plastic, soft plastics, top waters, you name it. Well, I hope you're able to check some of these spots out and I hope that you get onto some fish and have a great time. Hopefully the weather cooperates. I know I've been saying it for, for a long time now, but Yarborough Pass. Man, I'm so ready to make that trip as soon as I get a break in the weather. I'm going to head down the beach and go fish that Yarborough Pass. I'm thinking about making it a multi-day deal now. Um, you know, Memorial Day weekend is coming up. I'm thinking maybe run down there and camp, spend a night, and then fish all day Saturday. So hopefully the weather cooperates here pretty soon and I can make that happen because I think it would be a, a blast to fish it and I think it'd be really cool to make a video of it. As always, if you enjoyed the video and you haven't subscribed yet, then please consider clicking that subscribe button below. We're, we're slowly creeping up to a thousand subscribers, so thank you all for that. I really do appreciate it. And just like the past videos, the coordinates to these spots are posted in the description below, so you can check those out. Y'all have a blessed week, and I'll see you next time.